Hey YouTube. Uh, so today has been, I guess, kind of stressful, I can say. I did, I dropped my sister off to work as always. And then I did a little running around trying to get some stuff together. And uh, I have gotten started with my classes now. So, you know, and that's been pretty crazy. Even though I just started, it's been pretty crazy still. But, yeah, so I'm just relaxing right now. It feels so good. I'm just relaxing and, like, taking a good old break right now because uh, I'm tired. I didn't go to sleep last night till like, so 3 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, I just been tired all day. Just kind of been laying around all day long. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to handle your business, so... That's why I'm laying like this. That's actually why I'm laying down like this. Because I am recording and laying in a bed at the same time. Because I am tired. But, uh, yeah. So, I just decided to, I guess, come back with another video today. Because I felt like, I don't know. I had, maybe I had something to talk about. But, I don't know. But, um, yeah. So, things are going well right now. You know, I'm back in school. You know. I am still looking for a job, though. But things are going pretty well, though. Oh, right, give me a haircut. My hair is getting thick. Well, it is thick. I right, give me a haircut. I guess I get one in the next, in the next couple of weeks or so. I get a haircut, maybe. I like to let my hair grow a little bit before I get a haircut. I don't know why. I may be the only person who like that, but I just like to let my hair grow for a little bit before I get a haircut. I like to see it grow a little bit, you know, rather than letting it grow two or three inches and then shave it back off, you know, I like to let mine grow out a little bit. I mean, one time, it was kind of funny, one time I was in uh, fifth grade and uh, my math teacher, uh, I had my hair, my hair was growing out and it was like thick like this. It, I think it was probably thicker than this. And uh, she looked at it she, and she looked at me, she said, James, you going to Mohawk? And I was like, a Mohawk? I looked at her and I said, a Mohawk? Yeah, she was like, yeah, she was so serious about it. She was like, you growing a mohawk? And I said, no, I'm not, no, no, that's that's just my my hair. And then she said, oh, she said, why yo, yo, she let your hair thick. She let it way how thick your hair look. I thought you were growing a mohawk. And I said, oh, no. Like, and it made me laugh, but, like, when she said it, it was embarrassing because, like, you know, everybody else was looking at my hair and stuff, and they, like, you know, laughing and joning and stuff. So, that's why I said. It was kind of embarrassing when she said it like that. You going a mohawk? She was like, James, you going a mohawk? And I'm like, no, I'm not going a mohawk. I'm not going a mohawk. I don't think I look good with a mohawk, honestly. I'm the kind of guy that I believe in low cut, you know, straight up 100 low cut. Don't give me no mohawk. Don't give me no braids. Don't give me no dreads. Don't give me nothing. I was born with long hair, though. Just a little, I guess, fun fact that I'll throw out there that I was born with long hair. You probably won't believe it. But anyway, I was born with long hair. And my mom, she actually told me that um, when I was little, like four or five and three, and I had my hair still, she told me that she actually would, like, put them in long plaits and stuff. And she actually says that's the reason she cut them off, because she got tired of putting them in the plaits. And so she just cut it off. She went on and got it cut off. But, yeah, there are days I do, and, like, ever since she told me that, because, of course, I didn't know I was born with long hair. She just told me that one day, you know, she, when I was little, she was like, you know, you were born with long hair. And I think I saw a picture of something, too, and it was like, I was like three in a picture, and I had a baseball cap on, and I noticed my hair. I saw hair hanging out, and maybe, I think maybe that's what led to me asking my, my mama. I was like, mom, was I born with long hair? Because, look, I got long hair in this picture right here. And that's when she told me, she was like, yes, yeah, you were born with long hair. And then, of course, I guess I was like, what happened to it? I was like, well, what happened to it? Because I'm bald here now. I'm like, you know, I'm bald here now. I look like a, you know, I'm like, I look like a normal guy now, you know. I'm like, I'm like, I'm sure I ain't got no long hair now. What happened to it? That's what she told me. She got tired of messing with it, so she just got it cut off and stuff. But, yeah, I used to have long hair. There are days I wish I still had because, like, I guess I feel I would, like, I would kind of enjoy seeing what it would be like having dreads and stuff, you know, being able to have dreads and stuff. Let's see what I look like. Some, you know, you know. 
no homo though but some guys you know i've seen some dudes and they look cute with dreads but me i feel like i look a high miss with some dreads my low cut i look i look i feel i look good with a low cut a mohawk i look jacked up Mm-mm. that was i feel all them hair styles i look jacked up i won't look good at all but oh my god yeah today is i think tuesday yeah today's tuesday and um yeah this is just all that i am doing laying in a bed and trying to relax i gotta leave in about i guess let me see um 111 i gotta leave at 140 so that's about uh, 30 minutes maybe yeah that's about 30 minutes i gotta leave in about 30 minutes so yeah I had to leave out in about thirty well twenty nine minutes actually. I had to leave out in twenty nine more minutes to go pick my sister up and bring her back home. Yeah. But anyway. Um, anywho, whatever. But yeah. You know, I have to say, life is so beautiful. You know, once you actually lay back and just enjoy life, it's, you know, it's so beautiful. Like, and I've realized that it's so beautiful. Like, because I can remember a few years back, I was miserable every day. I was sad every day. I was depressed. I was angry. And now it's like, even though I'm struggling finding a job and, and, and I've been out of college for a while and, you know, I'm finally going back now, but even so though you know it's like my life is happy and bliss and joyful and, and peaceful you know i don't feel sad i don't feel angry i don't feel miserable i feel happy i truly feel happy and i think it's because of like so much negativity and stuff you know you let go of all the negativity and you let go of all that bad stuff you know that's inside of you you just kind of push all that away and you start feeling good inside it makes you feel awesome inside you wake up every morning you know you like oh another beautiful day you wake up and just go to yourself oh, we have another beautiful day rather than going ah another day to get through and can't wait till they over and yeah, yeah you know i feel you can wait you know it allows you to wake up and be able to say oh another beautiful day let's see what today has to offer you know and so, yeah, like I said, I truly feel blessed. I, I feel so blessed that, you know, my life is where it is now. And um, I, I'm just so thankful and I guess grateful that I realized that I had to let go of all that negative energy. And, and that's kind of what was holding me back from living a happy and peaceful life. I had to let go of all of that negative, neg negative energy that was inside of me. And so, you know, that's just, and I guess I can say that's my advice to like everyone out there. You know, you know, just let go of it. You know, you have any negative energy dwelling inside of you, let go of it. You know, and you'll be surprised at how much more your life will improve. I guarantee you will be so much more surprised because I was surprised at how much my life improved. You know, I had less migraines. I used to have migraines all the time. I used to have headaches all the time because of anger, depression, worry. You know, I used to couldn't go to sleep at night, you know, anxiety. I used to couldn't even go to sleep at night. And now I'm able to do it. I go to sleep like it's nothing. You know, my mind stay clear like it's nothing. You know, I wake up in the morning feeling so rejuvenated, refreshed, you know, plenty of energy, you know, ready to get the day started rather than waking up and, you know, dragging out of bed because I didn't get no sleep last night because I was worried about a ton of stuff you know and like it's, it's, just, it's just a major difference i have to say it's, it's just been a major difference in my life ever since i done stopped all the worrying and all the, the anxiety and all the sadness and all the sorrow and i remember in college like I, I mean i'll even share this with you in college my first year of college along with being homesick i was also very depressed because i was away from home and my mom and my sister, you know, they were by themselves, and I didn't know what was going on. And so that depressed me so bad that I couldn't sleep at night. That I literally just, I would be up in my dorm room, pasting the floor literally all night long, knowing I had a class in the morning. And sometimes I had knowing I had a big test the next day, but I literally would be pasting the floor and just worrying, you know. And, and, and even though they called me, my sister, she called me every day. And sometimes it's just that kind of that just wasn't enough. 
Like it's like it's kind of like I had to just see their face. I had to go to Pines. Almost like I just had to go to Pine Little every day and see them just to know that they're okay, and then come home and relax. Being able to come back to, you know, come back to, you know, come back to you know where I was and relax. But because I couldn't do that every day, of course, you know, um. It depressed me. I was up all night pacing the floor. And like I said, I feel that's what led to being so homesick. I was so worried about my mom and my sister. And uh, now that I'm here, I'm back at home and I'm going to school online. I feel like it's working out better for me, honestly. Like, it may not be for everybody, but it is for me, you know, going online. And, I mean, I don't have a whole bunch of, like, obligations. You know, I don't have no wife. I don't have any kids, you know. So, it's not... You know, I'm not working right now, so it's not that I'm obligated to a bunch of stuff that's causing me to have to go to school online. It's just I prefer to go to school online because I can think more. I can be more productive, I feel, I guess, because I'm at home. I'm with my mom and my sister. You know, I, I can see what's going on around here. And so, like, for me, it, it, it works out better. And Like, going to college, going away to college it, it didn't work out i guess i guess i have to say it didn't work out you know it seems like going online just it seems like it's working out the best for me i could have went to college to the uh i could have went to you know school at the college that's in my hometown but i didn't want to though you know i just don't want to fool with them people but anyway uh yeah so um yeah going to school online is so much better for me you know it's just so much better for me but yeah um this is just, I guess, maybe a little, I guess this is a quick video, but, um, yeah, so just to kind of let you guys know what, what, what's kind of going on with my day. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, if you like this video, enjoy the video, please give it a like and please subscribe. Thank you and have a very, very wonderful day.